Hey, this is Steve Johnson. This is going to be my last video in this series on the Beatitudes. Thank you for tuning in. Um, you know, the Beatitudes end with blessed are they who are persecuted. Now that's an interesting one. Why would you be declared to be blessed because you are persecuted? Well, there's no, it's not a good thing to be persecuted, but Jesus said, if they hate me, they will hate you. And so when we become more like Jesus, we need to understand we are living in enemy territory. We are living in the domain of the devil. And so we are going to get opposition just for being righteous. We need to understand something else. As you pursue Christ's likeness, as you become more like him, as you become a carrier of the presence of God, it brings a conviction of the Holy Spirit upon sinners and sin. And people react in all manner of ways. And I want to just talk for a few moments about that and um, one of the ways in which people react is anger they see themselves what they really are they become angry rather than dealing with the sin they just become angry and they get angry at you and that's don't be discouraged with that because that is part of the conviction of the Holy Spirit. That's their reaction to the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Another reaction is mockery. Ever heard, seen people laugh at you and ridicule you as a Christian? Actually, that is the conviction of the Holy Spirit. They see your righteousness, they hate it, they laugh because they say, oh, I don't have to take this seriously, but they're deluding themselves. That's what they're actually doing. And so don't be put off by that. That's the conviction of the Holy Spirit again. The third thing that people do is put on a mask. They make, oh, I'm a good person, I, I'm a decent person, I give to charity, etc. Etc. Et this is what people do. Again, it's the conviction of the Holy Spirit. When someone has to put on a mask of righteousness or act self-righteously, you'll find this as well. Actually, I'll just add this: self-righteousness is a mark of British culture. We see it in politics all the time. Politicians demanding that you apologise, demand that you make a statement against anti-Semitism, and all the rest of it. Who are you to demand anything of anybody? Who do you think you are? That is classic self-righteousness. We are marked by arrogance, and nothing ticks off the arrogant self-righteous more than a genuinely righteous person living in the presence of God. It's just a conviction of the Holy Spirit. They want to dampen it down. So be prepared. There is a war. There is a warfare here. We're in enemy ter territory. Jesus said, they hated me. They're going to hate you. The servant is not above his master. And so bear this in mind that when you receive opposition and persecution, you are blessed because it's evidence you are in the presence of God. Do not be discouraged. Yes, we hate the opposition. We hate the mockery. But remember this. It's because because of who you are in Christ, because you are a carrier of God's presence, and you are blessed indeed. So don't be disheartened, don't give up, be of good courage. I want to finish this video series by just being, giving a quick reminder of three things. Remember I spoke to you about Makarios, the, the, the presence of God that's a state of full blessedness, regardless of outward circumstances, regardless of what you're do doing, re oh, sorry, regardless of what situation you're in, uh, whatever is happening in your life, if you have the presence of God, you are blessed beyond measure. That is a true state of blessedness. It said, blessed are the poor in spirit. That means those who are humbly reliant on his grace. And thirdly, we have the kingdom of God inside us, the seed of eternal life. It may not be a tree. It may not be one of these trees. It may be just the seed that God has planted the seed of eternal life and living in the presence of God humble reliance on his grace is the key to growing in the Beatitudes they're not laws to be obeyed they're a life to be lived and I want to encourage you with those facts those truths there I hope that truly blessed you uh, I'm going to sign off now um, from Mombasa Shalom